do you guys want to live stream without having a freaking capture card? Because I know I have it, but I don't live stream with it. Do you guys want better quality when you're live streaming on PlayStation instead of live streaming on the PlayStation itself? And you can just live stream on PC, laptop, Mac, whatever. And you can have better quality like this and run 60 freaking FPS per second without lagging. Well, this video, it's going to say it all, right? This video is going to say it all. So, I'm going to start doing the quality first because so i can get that out of the way you're gonna go to video in here guys you can do anything fps highest is 60 lancos i like lancos i like this because it'll because it won't lag if if i put 1280 1080 on the first one i'll start lagging so i like 720 first and then 1080 second uh let's get right to the video let's go all right guys so now what we're gonna do guys is you know we're gonna go to google chrome whatever web browser you use all right we're gonna go to PlayStation Remote Play. Here it is, the first one. Well, for me, it's the first one. Now, you, all you want to press, guys, is Windows. If you have a window. Well, I, well, I heard that Mac is better because it has better quality at webcams and quality in general. But since I have a PC and it's and Windows is built in it, I'll just you know press Windows PC users. Oh yeah, and it brings you down here. And then this is where you press it, and then it downloads. Um, I don't know why it did that. I'll just delete it later, because I already have it. So, yeah, guys, we're going to do the next step, and let's go. Before I launch the PlayStation Remote app, um, you're going to need to have, like, an Android, char an Android charger or whatever. It can't be, like, the Samsung 9, Samsung 10, Samsung 7, 8 around there. It has to be, like, uh, Samsung, like a basic Android, all right? It has to be something like this, all right? Something like that. And you plug it to your controller. And then when the light comes up, alright. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to you know remote PS4 remote play. Check it for updates. You know settings. Alright. Here this part is important. Sign in, you know, sign in. This part is very, very important, guys. If you guys pick 1080p, go to love. And this is why. This is why, good luck. I'm going to tell you why. If you press 1080p, it's going to give you this message, whatever. And it's going to say, you know, it's basically that you start lagging. It doesn't say that. But they, they're saying that they recommend you having 720. I recommend, I recommend it for myself, 720 as well. Whenever I use 1080p and with the frame with the frame rate high, I start lagging. So if you're gonna use 1080p, at least put it to standard. All right. Now what like what I like to use is 720 because I don't lag. I have go to smooth quality and I don't lag. Use keyboard over here is if you want to type something on the PlayStation and you're trying to type it on the controller, it won't work. You have to type it on your on your keyboard on your laptop keyboard. Mac keyboard, whatever, whatever keyboard, all right. Change if you if you want to change your, you know, if you want to change it. If you want to change another, if you want to change it to another PlayStation. Okay. Now you press options or start. I'll just press options on the controller. It'll start loading in. So guys, where you want to go now is you want to go to settings. You want to go to Remote play connection settings. Now, if you've never done this before, guys, if you've never done this before, you want to press add add device. If it doesn't work the first time, you want to put add device, you know, or whatever. If you're doing this new, if you want to know how to do it, yeah, just press add device. I can't do it because I already did it, you know. So, yeah, guys. And now you want to do is you want to go back to OBS or Streamlabs OBS, whatever you use, and you're gonna put. A new window. Alright. You wanna refresh that? Yeah, you're gonna wanna refresh that to like another tab. PS Now here are the results guys. Here are the results. So yeah guys, this is how you do a PS4 remote play 
to OBS or PS4 to OBS or PS4 to PC live stream record whatever now I'm gonna get out of the way and guys if you want to live stream record whatever I'm recording right now so that's the only option that I have for recording and start recording and it's or start, or start streaming Thank you guys for watching so much. If you guys like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. You know, I can play Fortnite right now if I really wanted to. I'm not going to. I'm going to go sleep. I'm very tired. Or am I, or am I, or am I going to ride my bike? It's not even that dark outside if you think about it. But, um, yeah, guys. I will love, love, love to see you guys. Comment down below if this worked. I really want to know, guys. Um, I know a lot of other YouTubers done this. So, I can't. I'm not a content stealer because there's more than 100 YouTubers who did, who did this. I, I haven't seen 100 of them, but I know this is a very popular how-to video. So if you guys want more of these, please subscribe. Give a thumbs up. Remember that. And have a nice day, guys. And pos positive vibes only. Peace.